what's up everybody hi this is my last new deck but i just wanted to do a quick reading with it crystal sound healing oracle i only got three they were on sale i dig for the sale ones when i actually do wind up in barnes and noble it was around my doctor's appointment office so i was like oh barnes and noble i stopped after all right let's see what we got universal mother nurturing support Somebody's pregnant out here, or trying, or somebody's starting a business, starting a new job, starting a new journey. Too many. Let's clarify. Why is, you know, let's see what comes after. Charcoal, cleansing, clearing, releasing negativity. Rose course, grace, respect, emotional healing. Some of you lost a baby before, and that's uh, either trying to get pregnant and your dark thoughts are act of like, oh, this is never going to happen or if it happens, it's going to be bad. Um, could be keeping you from getting pregnant. And for some of you who are pregnant, that was the last time. It's not going to be the same every time. And they want you to be, come into a very peaceful place and take a breath. And this is new. And let's live in the moment and let's not project because we don't want to manifest or put bad energy and there's nothing wrong with you if you can't have kids there's other ways to be parents and i think this is just loving yourself for, through grief for some of you who did lose their baby love yourself through it and be patient there's no when life goes back to normal okay it's just life now Take that out of your mind. Life the, going back to, there is no normal. There never was. It's just life now. And you can be happy again, but you have to let go of the past and what happens and the traumas. And trust me, I know that is hard. But for others of you, this is not about babies and pregnancies. This is about like a relationship that you started, something that you nurtured and lifted off the ground. And, sorry, my lips are so chapped. It's so windy right now. Um, I need to find my chapstick. <laughs> Note to self. Um, but this is clearing away this self-imposed, I ruined everything thought for some of you. No, you didn't ruin everything. It just wasn't the right thing to put your energy in or it was at one time and it no longer is now. This is loving yourself through change. Loving yourself through grief. Recovery. Some of you, this could be a medical thing. Like, I've been going through it myself. Sometimes our mind makes things so much bigger than it is. It's all about how you, you see it and how you attack things. Whether it be an illness, whether it be pain love yourself through it take one day at a time one step at a time all i can deal with is today and i'm going to live in this day and i'm going to do the best that i can and i'm going to hope for the best and i'm going to love myself through it i'm going to love myself through change whether that's needing a moment to cry because i just don't want to hold these feelings in whether it's sleeping because I'm tired, whether it's being alone because I just don't want to be around people, whether it's going out with people because I don't want to be alone, whether it's filling my day up with work because I need to keep my mind occupied, whatever it is that you need in that moment and that time and that day, that is what you focus on and that's what you do and you love yourself through it. Because looking too far ahead or looking back or thinking of the shoulda, woulda, couldas is a toxin to your body and to your fight. It's not positive, it's not aiding you, it's not helping you, it's hindering you. All right, confirmation from God right there. <laughs> Buddha's delight, Neptune gold, laughter, communication, immunity. You are immune to all negativity by choice. That is always true for everyone, but we are not always immune to things as bodies and systems. And sometimes when things go wrong that are serious, 
we nitpick our life. But to me, I feel like this golden healing energy, laughter and light and being zen is so healing to recovery. The more you can just chill out, doing what you love to do, not focusing and just laying there and thinking about all the things that could happen, that did happen, mulling it over, nitpicking it to death, all of that has to be removed for this healing. You need to occupy your mind with positivity because positivity in itself is healing because it all comes from your thought. I'm going to be okay. Believing that naturally calms you down and your body in a calm sense can fight anything off better. It always helps to make your base balanced, your mind has to be the base of all that you are because everything comes from your mind procrastination worry anxiety depression it all comes from your brain and your brain is complicated and complex and too much for us to put to all of our stock into it so give it something else to do learn to knit learn to cook go for a walk Sing, write, whatever it is that's healing and peaceful. Lumerian seed crystal, aura, aura, aqua aura quartz. Oh my god, I can read. Stillness, rejuvenation, soul purpose, sitting and just being calm. You need to come. I don't know what you're going through, if this is something physical or emotional, but there is a lot of chaos and a lot of stress, and that chaos and stress is toxic. You need to slow it down and focus on feng shui and zen and meditating and breathing and eating healthy and getting fresh air and getting sleep and writing your feelings out and dealing with things and not bottling everything in because that is making this process so much longer for you. Rootedness, reverberation, re why do they write like this? Kundalini rising, earth anchor, you are gonna you are gonna be strong through this. You are gonna find your balance, but it takes that stepping out calm, cool, and zen. Once you do that, and I really think you heard me and respected that because something clicked. You're like, yes, this is what I need to get better or feel better or to heal. I need to just do it my way. I need to be calm. I need to focus on things that I like doing. If you if you feel like golfing, if you feel like Having a lazy day, watching a bunch of movies, whatever it is, you need to set your own routine and own schedule and make it 100% your priority. I understand that people have jobs, but it, when it comes to health stuff, which one do you want to go, your life or your money? Because money can be made again. And help can be had if you are unable to work. Pink tourmaline, compassion, clearing wounds, restore. You are going to heal. You're going to find this balance, and you're going to find the sun, and you're going to heal. And if you are, if you've been calm, cool, and loving yourself through it, you are doing amazing. Keep doing what you're doing. And this pregnancy will be a lot better if you are pregnant. If you come from this peaceful, balanced place, let's just focus on today. Let's just be calm. Synchronicity, chakra activity, you're getting signs, you're feeling it. You, no matter what the situation is, you're feeling this ascended master that everything's going to be okay, that I can do this. Just need to get my mind off. I just need to calm down and not overanalyze and overthink and stress and worry. And I just need to do what I need to make a plan and I need, I need to just follow the plan. And that's all I can do. This is you talking yourself through it. You have the capability of doing this and you're doing a good job just don't be too hard on yourself and don't bite off more than you can chew and one day this is about you and healing and being honest with yourself about what you need exactly in this moment in this time don't go too far ahead don't go back stay now what do you need right now
ask yourself that 